I recently did an interview with Ash Baker. It was following a TNS game and he scored his first ever hat-trick. Now, if you're a Sheffield Wednesday fan, you will know Ash, of course, because he played for the Owls and featured a number of occasions in the championship, but never scored a hat-trick at all, ever in his career. So that was a very special interview indeed. But it also got me thinking as well, because I started playing football, obviously not professional, not on the same level as the people that I work with and interview on a regular basis. But I started playing football when I went to school. Well, I played before school, but competitive football when I went to Queen Victoria in Sedgley. And I never, ever scored a hat-trick. In fact, when I was in both my junior and infants and then moving on to grammar school, I played in goal. So I didn't score at all. Then afterwards, I made a switch. Not a conscious one, not a deliberate one, but I started to play outfield and ended up as a centre half. And that's where I've been ever since. And I have scored a few goals over the years, but I've only ever scored one hat trick, which, of course, is what got me thinking about that. And it's going back in time. My dad was diagnosed with cancer. He was terminal and he was given just weeks to live. In fact, he lived for 14 months. And during that particular period of time, spent a lot of time with my dad. And then he finally did pass away. And it was a, a Sunday. And the following day, I was playing football. I played in a Monday night league at the time. And I went, played football, didn't tell anyone what had, what had happened. It was just a thing for me. I wasn't after any sympathy or anything like that. But on that game, the only time it's ever happened in all those decades of playing competitive football, I actually scored a hat-trick as a centre-half as well. I also got man of the match. And that was very special to me because my dad was a football fan. He had a season ticket at Wolverhampton Wonders. He played in his earlier days as well. And scoring that hat-trick was very, very special indeed. And interviewing Ash... And whenever I do interview anyone actually that scored a hat-trick, especially the first one, it always brings back those particular memories. And as well as Ash, I've also interviewed Brad Young recently, came from Villa. His first hat-trick, Guion David, young player, previously at Carnarvon Town. He scored his first hat-trick as well. But for some reason, it was Ash's in particular that got me thinking about my first three goals for me on the football pitch my first hat trick and this is a trophy that i that i that i got for the the league that we we, we ran the league at the time we did for 13 years it was a charity league and we used to use the money uh, that we made in the uh, charity that we ran at the time my wife and i and there it is it's the david blore memorial trophy and i've got this one the other trophies of probably been kept by people or whatever they've gone their their own way but this one I've certainly kept my hands on this great memories memories wonderful to look back isn't it very special indeed